everyone, this is Charlie with HotTipsCentral.com and in this tutorial we'll t I'll show you how to jailbreak your iPhone 4 or really just any iPhone that's compatible with iOS 4.3.3 and uh, this is using the Red Snow tool. Uh, as you may have remembered from our previous video, if you had watched the previous video, um, we had just recently updated our iPhone to iOS 4.3.3 uh, and retained our baseband so that we would be able to unlock later. So as you can see from my iPhone here, uh, we are currently running iOS 4.3.3. Let me just pull up the uh, general uh, my fingers are so it's clumsy today here. We are on iOS 4.3.3 and we're going to go ahead and jailbreak with the Red Snow tool. Now, Red Snow is very easy to use uh, and you can obtain it very easily. So to obtain that we're going to go ahead and visit the dev team's blog which is pretty easy to do but let's just go through our site because that's pretty cool too so here's how to jailbreak iphone ipod touch and ipad ios 4.3.3 this is the article you'll see in the description of the video below unless you are watching this on the site in which case then you just see the video here uh, before you begin of course you're going to need um, the red snow tool Red Snow can be found in step three of our little walkthrough. If you want to go ahead and click one of these two things here. If you're on Windows, of course, click Windows. If you're on Mac, click Mac. You can also get this from the Dev Team blog, uh, which is uh, pretty easy to find. Just go ahead and Google it. As so I'm on a Mac, obviously, so I'm going to go ahead and click Mac, and that's going to give me Red Snow. Pretty simple. And so there's the download. Chrome puts my download down here, so that's cool. So we'll wait till that's done. And then we'll go ahead and open her up. It's a fairly fast download. My network is normally quicker than this. But so there you go. Now I I am downloading it like this in front of you as a video so that you can see that the actual link on the site works and it's not wrong. So that's what we're gonna use. I'm gonna double click this. It's gonna go ahead and unzip it. And I have it in my downloads folder now. I'm sure of it. So let's go find Red Snow. It's a bunch of stuff in here. That's awesome. Let's just show off all my personal stuff. Cool, right? Okay, the version of Red Snow that you're looking for is version 0.9.6 RC15. Uh, again, if you're on a Windows computer, you're using Windows, but that doesn't matter. Okay, so my iPhone right now is connected via USB. It's running 4.3.3. And yeah, so that's that. Open up, open this up, and let's run Red Snow. And here it is. Red Snow RC uh, 0.9.6 RC15. First thing you're going to want to do is browse for your firmware. Browse for the current firmware. Notice how it says browse for current firmware. This is the firmware you're actually on. In the previous video, I showed you that I had 4.3.3 here. Uh, if you didn't watch the previous video, um, I have 4.3.3 right here. <laughs> so there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and browse. And on the desktop, I'm going to go ahead and find that firmware. And this is the firmware I'm currently on. You have to be currently on the firmware, stock Apple firmware, to use this tool, not a custom firmware. It will process the firmware here, and when it allows you to continue, when it allows you to hit next, go ahead and do so. And when that finishes, we can continue. I'm going to go ahead and move this over just a little bit so that you can see my iPhone in the wonderful iMovie window that I'm going to present to you. Wonderful. And there I am. Hi. So, again, iPhone here. And there's a few options you can do. You can allow boot animations. You can you know, enable the multitasking gestures if you're on a device that doesn't support it. I'm just going to install Cydia. And I'm, you know what? Let's, let's allow boot animations too. And it gives you a little warning. It'll say, with this option enabled, you can install boot animations from Cydia. So, it's cool. It gives me an extra ability. Why not? Go ahead and hit next. And now it wants you to do, it wants you to follow this, and you need to follow this. You only want to hit next when your device is plugged in and off. In order to in order to pull that off, you actually have to plug it in while it's on and then shut it off. If you shut it off first and then plug it in, the phone will turn on automatically. So, with it plugged in, whoops, not we're not putting in DFU. With it, with it plugged in, go ahead and hold on the power button and shut it off. And actually shut it off. And don't just fake out, shut it off, but actually shut it off. There you go. All right, so my device is my device is now off, and it's plugged in, and so now I can proceed. Cool. 
Okay, next, it wants me to hold the power button for two seconds. So here we go. And just follow the steps on the screen. Essentially, that's all you're doing. You're just following the steps on the screen. Now it wants you to release the power button. So we're gonna do that. And now we're just putting the device in DFU. That's what it wants you to do. Once the device is in DFU mode, which is what we just did, it will do its little deal right over here on the side of the screen. It will inject the jailbreak into your phone and you will have Cydia on your phone again. Isn't that wonderful? It's not really that complex. It has a few steps to it, but if you just, if you just follow what it says, it's pretty simple. There's a bunch of code. Just let it do its thing. Sit back and enjoy. There's Mr. Pineapple. You notice red snow says done, but it's now. It's not done until this is done. Now this is all taking place on the device, so you don't necessarily need red snow even open anymore. You can close this. I'll just show you. You can actually just hit finish, and you know it'll go away. The rest of the process actually takes place right here on the device itself. So. That's, that's cool. It switched my camera. That's awesome. All right, there you go. And when it boots up, and go ahead and just slide to unlock. And we'll go ahead and swipe a little bit. And there's Cydia. You can see Cydia right there. And there you go. It'll prepare the filing system and you are jailbroken with Cydia on your iPhone. Running 4.3.3, this is an untethered jailbreak, so you do not need to be connected to a computer to do it and when you boot it up. So, uh, yeah. If you have any more questions or concerns or anything, really, you want to just stop and say hi, visit us on Facebook at facebook.com slash hot tip. And you can check out our website for more details on anything you might want to know. Hottipcentral.com. See ya.